we're going to look at a secant line of the same 1 over x function. This time, because it's secant, we're expecting two points. Now we have two x values. We need to do uh, turn these into points. So we can call it x naught is 1, x1 is 2. So y naught is f of x naught. Our function is 1 over x. So we plug in 1. 1 over 1 reduces to 1. So one of our points, x naught, y naught, is 1, 1. Uh, y1 is the y value corresponding to x1, f of x1. The function is 1 over x, so we get 1 half. That doesn't reduce, unless you really wanted to write in decimals, but I usually work in fractions. So 2 comma 1 half. All right, we have our two points now. We're computing the slope. Remember, the slope is not from the difference quotient when you're doing the secant line. The secant line uses two points. So y1 minus y0, x1 minus x0. Could, of course, use the fx1 minus fx0 over x1 minus x0, whichever form you want to use, go for it. So our y values, y value 1 is 1 half, y value 0 is 1, minus 2 minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1, that's easy. The subtraction here, 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. You could go common denominator for this. And dividing by 1 does nothing, so this is just negative 1 half, and that is our slope. And point slope form. Again, y-intercept form is great when you have a y-intercept, but my x values, neither of them are zero, so I do not know what the y-intercept is right now. I could compute it, but uh, we're going to go with point slope form. y minus y naught equals mx minus x naught. All right, y naught is one. Slope negative one half x minus x naught is also 1. And this is a great answer here, great form. If you really like to get mx plus b with a y-intercept form, so I distributed negative 1 half. Negative 1 half times negative 1 is positive 1 half. Added 1 to both sides. 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. So there's your slope uh, y-intercept form, or mx plus b form. All right, I did uh, graph the function up here for the previous version. We went 1, 2. So there's 2. I'll switch to green on this graph. So that's the other point, and the secant looks like this right here. So it hits in two different points. Now later on you'll find that there there is some place in between these two where the slopes will actually be equal. Slope of the curve, slope of the line. Uh, but that's the mean value theorem. We learned that a bit later. Not right now. Let's not worry about that. But that's the difference between a tangent and a secant line.